everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is December 2022. Christmas is right around the corner, and if you're like me, you are out in your workshop trying to make some of those uh, personalized gifts for people. Uh, perhaps you're selling them for others, and uh, it's a busy time of the year, but uh, I thought I would walk through how I make personalized ornaments. We're going to do this completely in light burn, so it's not very difficult to do. Uh, we've got our Santa hat on, we've got light burn loaded up on the computer, so let's jump right into it. We are in Lightburn, and so I'm going to show you how I set up a simple ornament. So I'm going to start by using our circle tool. And uh, forgive me for working in imperial units, but that is what I've grown up with, and 40 years of habits die hard. So um, we are going to hold down the shift key, which creates a perfectly round circle, and I'm just going to drag it out a ways. And then what I'm going to do is select it and come up here, and I'm looking for a three inch circle. So we're going to hit three, make sure the aspect ratio is locked, hit tab, and that's going to resize it to three inches. Now we want to have this be an offset. So I'm going to select our offset tool and I want this to come in about a quarter of an inch, so 0.25 inward. We do not want to delete the original objects. Make sure that's not selected and go ahead and hit OK. So now we have our base round ornament, but we need to add kind of like our little hanger piece. So we're going to kind of just replicate this on smaller scale. Again, I'm going to drag out a circle holding down shift to make it round. And this I want to be roughly half an inch. So we'll take this to 0.5. And then again, I'm going to use our offset tool. I'm gonna to bring it in only an eighth of an inch this time. So 0.25 and hit okay. All right, so now we have that on top of our ring, but we need to join these. So I'm first going to select these two and I'm gonna kind of just eyeball the height that I want it at. So what I'm shooting for is where that inner circle is sitting just right on top of the outer circle of the actual ornament. That looks pretty good. Now I want to make sure it's centered. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to come up here to our vertical align tool. We want to align center. That will just make sure that everything is shifted into the center plane. And now we want to combine these together. So we're going to use the weld tool, come up here to tools and just hit weld shapes. And that will combine the two together. We have our ornament ring and we have kind of the little circle hanger piece. This is a good spot to go ahead and save your work because from here on out, we're going to be changing our base ornament. Now, the next thing I want to add in is a little bit of flare before we add a name, because again, this will be kind of a, the, uh, standard item. So I'm going to come in here to uh, import and I already have a file called snowflakes. Let me just change this to red colors. Hopefully it shows up. Uh, and this one, if we shrunk it down, it's going to be a little too fine of detail. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Let's get rid of that one. Um, unless I want that one for this one, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to bring it over here and just, again, this is all just what looks about right for you scale it down and bring it over here. Looks like I wanna go a little bit smaller because we wanna leave a fair amount of room for a name. It's looking about right. I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit because I wanna make sure I have good anchor points across the side. So I'm looking for an anchor point, multiple anchor points here. And actually we could even bump it in just a little bit more and grab these as well. So now we've got plenty of spots where it's touching and now I'm gonna go ahead and select both items. We're gonna come back up to tools and this time I'm gonna use a Boolean joint. Now, if you're not sure which Boolean to use, they do have this assistant and that will bring up this menu here and it'll give you the various options between subtract B from A, A from B, the intersection of two. What we're just looking for though is union. We wanna combine the two and where they overlap. So I'm gonna go ahead and select union, hit okay. And that will then weld that little snowflake in our upper corner of our ornament. So again, here's a good spot to go ahead and save your work so that at this point forward, you can just start adding your names, your personalization, however you want. So when looking at the name and or the personalization, uh, I recommend a font that's gonna be a script font. You're looking for something that kind of flows together so the, the letters will naturally weld together. And you're not looking for something that's too fine. You want it to be somewhat bold. So I found this one online, it's called Hello Valencia and it um, fits the bill for what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and type my name. Let's make sure I got that right, all right. 
and uh, you can play around with it whether you want it bold and whether you want it italics or not. I think for this one we want a bit of a sweeping action on it, so we're going to go with italics. And then you want to make sure that this welded option is selected because when you do that, you'll see it automatically welded the letters together because that's what we want. We want them combined, we want them one piece, one object. So once you're happy with the font and the, your text, now we're going to move it over here. And again, we're going to start placing this. So I'm going to rough in the size however we want. And actually, I think we're going to add a little bit of a sweep as well, just to kind of give it a little more of that Christmassy flair. And then I want to make sure again here that I've got multiple anchor points, but I don't want to be blocking out uh, too many of the letters. So we've got a good anchor point here. We've got a good anchor point here. We've got two over here that we can still tell what the letters are. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, we can maybe size it down just a touch and bring this over like that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's go with that. So here again, we're going to go ahead and select our items. And then we're going to come back up to tools, go to our Boolean assistant. Again, we want union. We're going to see that it's going to combine in these spots. It's going to look good. It'll be anchored. Hit OK. And there we go. We have a nice quick ornament set up. We've got our, our name in there. We've got a little snowflake to add some flair. We've got our outside ring. Now it's just about setting up the speeds and rates um, for your laser specifically, sending it off. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it turns out. All right, now that we have our kind of simple single plane ornament done, uh, let's try to do a layered one. And in some ways this will be a little bit easier um, because there's less welding. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start again with our snowflake ornaments. So we'll go ahead and bring these back in and uh, let's go ahead and make these red so they're easier to see. And this time, again, this one's a little too detailed for this operation, so we're gonna get rid of that one. And let's go ahead and use this other one this time. So um, we're going to bring this one in. And first thing we need to do is add our hanger piece again. So we're going to go ahead and grab our circle tool. We're going to draw a circle holding down shift to make sure it's round and select it. And again, I want this to be about half an inch in diameter. So go ahead and hit 0.5. And then we're going to go ahead and offset again in an eighth inch. That's all good. There we go. We've got our hanger piece. Now we need to do the same thing again. We need to join them. So we're just going to drag this down, kind of eyeball it into where we want it. And this uh, is kind of, you know, really up to you what, where you think this sits best. We can have it higher. We can have it lower. Uh, the important thing is that we want to have some overlap. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Once again, we're going to select both items. We're going to come up to our tools menu and weld the shapes and that will connect them two together. Uh, we have this again, maybe a good time to save because this is your base item. And next we are going to go ahead and grab our text again. Let's go ahead and oops, type my name. Here we are again. We're using the same font as last time because it will flow and weld together nice and easily. Again, make sure your welded option is on. I've got it bold and italicized, but let's go ahead and maybe change this to an alternate color to help us see. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of roughly size this and maybe rotate it again. We'll have it kind of swoop up the snowflake and then we'll stretch it out a little bit. Um, it might be a little, a little too big. Bring this down. Eh, we can make it just a touch bigger. So something to that effect looks about good. So now we're gonna move this over. And since I have these in different colors, we can use them in different layers. So once again, we're gonna go set, set up our speed and power for each one. You can run these in the same job on the same wood, or if you're using different wood, you can just simply turn the output on or off, and that will run whichever ones are turned on, but ignore the ones that are turned off. So it's a nice way to set up maybe multiple things in the same file, but run them at separate times. So 
uh, once again, I'm going to go ahead and get this output to my laser and uh, we'll check it out when it's all done. All right, so we have our snowflake base ornament and the name cut out. So really now it's just a matter of coming back in here and looking at where it's gonna fit the best between the two. So it looks like if we kind of line this up over along this side of the opening, that over there, that'll kind of look all right. And you have kind of the contrasting colors of the name on the snowflake. So I'm going to be going ahead and using some CA glue and just a little bit of Starbond CA accelerator. And we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of glue on each side. Doesn't take much to hold these on. We will spray the back and we will press it into place where we want it. Uh, go right about there. Press and hold that down. Let that glue cure. This is where you don't want to use too much, but just enough to kind of hold that name on there. And then that will cure up pretty quick. There you go. You have kind of a multi-layer, different colored ornament as well. All right, well, there you have it. We made some quick and easy customizable ornaments. Um, these are really easy to make within Lightburn. You don't need to have any extra software to do it. Um, just remember, choose your font wisely. Um, you want something broad enough that it's going to hold together and give you some anchor points in there. And as far as material, um, this was just a mixture. Uh, these individual ones, these are just cut out of uh, eighth inch basswood. So you can get these sheets uh, online or maybe in some craft stores about $2.50 per 12 by 12 sheet. So you'd be able to get a good nine or so of these out of there. So your material cost on these, you know, is really going to be maybe um, 50 cents in wood. And it took me about five minutes of laser time with that 10 watt Wayne Lux laser. And then here again, this is just some eighth inch basswood plywood. And then this was a scrap of cedar wood that I had uh, cut up out in my shop. Uh, but again, you, you'd be able to find in some craft stores some alternate wood, or you can use some stain or paint to make that color difference. But either way, not a lot of time, not a lot of material into this. So you could easily make these as gifts or a nice thing to be able to offer up uh, for sale as well. So I will have links down below for all the equipment used in this video if you are interested in trying this out for yourself. Otherwise, if you have questions about the process or comments about how you've done it too, um, go ahead and leave those down below. The community interaction on this platform is what makes this place so great. I hope you found this video entertaining and or educational, and I hope it inspired you to do something as well. So get your Santa hat on, get out in your workshop, try making something too, and we will catch you next time.